to show you all um, what I did on day three of freezer cooking. And right here is Nas. Look at that head. He's just waking up. Say hello. Say hi, everybody. I'm going to show you guys what I did um, yesterday on the fifth day three of freezer cooking. Um, I didn't get much done, but um, I, I'm, you're about to see why I didn't get much done. It was this one particular recipe that took up most of my time. So I will show you guys that and we'll get started on today's freezer cooking for another video. Okay, y'all, so this is what I got done yesterday on day three of my freezer cooking. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this. That way um, I can get these back in the freezer. Um, this is actually ice cream. I uh, had a little difficulty with my um, deep freezer. Come to find out it was actually unplugged. So this is mint ice cream. Um, the kids wanted mint uh, ice cream um, to go in between the... Um, the cookies so what I'm doing is because the cookies actually turned out a bit sweeter than um, than expected it might have been a mistake that I made not tasty because I did triple the recipe so my measurements might have been off a little bit um but um I actually put it in here like this that way I can cut them into bars I can easily slide it out so when I do my banana bread I'll I'll be straight, just a little clean and good. Um, but you know, cut them into bars once it gets frozen solid. Um, my deep freezer was unplugged yesterday, so um, that's why it's soft like this. Um, but this is the mint. They wanted me to color it, so. Thanks to Nick from the screen line, I got the correct color combination for that minty color. <laughs> so I'm going to put the link to his video in the description box. He does the most awesome, uh, most beautiful looking cupcakes I have ever seen. So um, I've been subscribing him for a couple of years now. So um, I'm going to put his channel in the link in the description box below. Um, so I'm going to get these back in the freezer and I will come back and tell you about the rest of, you know, the other things I have up here on my deep freezer. Give me just a moment. Okay, so now that the ice cream is back in the refrigerator, by the way, the, uh, that ice cream for those three um, bread pans, that was one, um, that was like one batch. So, um, I'm going to put that video in the description box as well on how to make the base of that ice cream it's going to be the chocolate um cookies and cream and the vanilla cookies and cream um but basically your base is just sweet and condensed milk and uh heavy whipping cream so this right here of course you guys may recognize this if you saw my um very first YouTube video, the granola um, recipe. But what I did was I made my recipe, I made my granola, and I added the sunflower seeds like I did. No, I didn't have any good pumpkin seeds in the store, so I didn't put those in there. But um, um, I just put some trail mix in it after I toasted the um the granola and I actually did uh chunks if y'all remember that cereal that granola uh cluster cereal um that they had out but that's basically what this is and if you guys have seen that video you notice I mentioned about portion control so this is the portion this is these cute little snack bags. Yo, I got this from Dollar Tree. Got these little bags from Dollar Tree. Um, the uh, bags like this, I got from Dollar Tree. The bags with the red, I got those from uh, Save-A-Lot. But um, this is the portion. So when they get this, they will be getting like the um, either some yogurt or um, some... Sorry, notification, y'all. I forgot to turn my notifications off. Um... They will be getting the yogurt or um, some kind of almond milk or, you know, any type of plant-based milk, whatever plant-based milk I have in at the time. Um, but I'm 
mainly by the almond milk. Um, that's, that's, that's everybody's favorite in here. But um, they'll have this, and then they get a smoothie. Um, they get a smoothie or a smoothie bowl um, in the morning when they first get up. So they can have that with this granola. And, you know, that's their breakfast or, you know, maybe a muffin or whatever. Um, but this is it. You see the little pineapples. I got the, I got the, um, I got the trail mix from Aldi's. So, it's, it's actually pretty good. If you, if you shop at Aldi's, then y'all know all the good stuff they got in there for very, very little very little money. Um, so this is what took up the majority of my time. You guys, this is the um the sauce for my um my taco lasagna. And if you have seen the video for my upcoming recipes, I will be putting that in the description box as well as the granola in the description box. Even though I put it in the description box of my first video, um, I still repeatedly put it in there so you don't have to go to me. Sure, but you guys, videos. always check my description box. There's always something down there. Um, I will put the link to this, uh, to my upcoming recipes in there as well. Um, but I made the Saitan from scratch and I did a video. Okay, y'all, I had a little bit of technical difficulties, but, um, this is from, uh, this is what took up most of my time yesterday is why I didn't get much done because I actually did. Uh, I made Saitan yesterday and I did, I actually did a video showing how to make Saitan, but basically Saitan is just flour with the um the um starch extracted from it so it's basically at at that point protein and uh, just glucose i mean uh gluten i'm sorry but um this took quite a while to make so what i did was i did a whole bag of flour and i separated it into three batches and then I soaked it, and then I went ahead with the rest of the process. I will be putting that in the link in the description, in the description box below um, as well. But this is enough for two pans. See, this is enough for two pans. And as you can see, I didn't freeze this because I plan on um, putting this together today. But with Saitan, when you make it from scratch, you got to let the flavors marinate. So that's what I did last night. Um, so it's been marinating for over 12 hours now, and I'm, it's going to get a chance to marinate even more once it goes in the freezer. So um, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and get my pans and stuff today, and um, I'm going to start doing all the casseroles and everything, and the, um, the meals that go in the pan. And I will be showing you guys some recipes, but this one, if this come out right, then I will show this recipe how I did it, and you can actually use uh, ground turkey, ground beef, whichever you prefer. If you don't do saitan, or if you have uh, sensitivity to gluten, but this is basically what I did. I just wanted to come back up here and show y'all, you know, finish what I was saying about this right here. Um, like I said earlier, check my description box every time you watch one of my videos because I always have. A link in there I'll... okay so while I was away getting everything straight as far as the technical difficulties um, concerning my video I actually went ahead and got my little breakfast and I ended up with two servings because it was just so good this is the granola with some um, fit and active plain vanilla yogurt I purchased from Aldi's um, it, it's really good um, the kids eat this um, so if you want to try it like this, the way I, you see in this picture, try it like that. It's actually really, really good. You won't need any added sugar, no honey, no nothing, because the yogurt and the granola have enough sweetness in it on its own. So um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. And, you know, I love you all to the moon and back.
um make sure you guys check out those links in the description box below in the um, of the uh video um so i will see you guys in the next upload for episodes and things you can now follow us on instagram at homeschool royalty you can like me on facebook ria maxine homeschool royalty also you can join my homeschool support group royal ria dealers all are welcome all i ask is that you respect each other we are all kings and queens and should carry ourselves as such. Be sure to like my business page, The Real Deal Gold Canyon. While you're there, click shop now and make some purchases. We have candles, fragrance oils, scent pods, pod warmers, even non-toxic plant-based cleaning supplies, and many more. If you have any questions or video requests, email us at homeschoolroyalty2017 at outlook.com. I love you all to the moon and back, and thank you for your support. Have a blessed day. Are you starting a journey to good health? Just eat the clothes of the rainbow and you're well on your way, kings and queens. Have a blessed day.